So 60 years ago, how did it all begin? Anybody have any idea? Well, it was a two-car garage extended in length a little bit, so that helped some. You know, I'd, I'd love to ask my grandpa myself, but uh, unfortunately he's not here to celebrate it with us. I know he'd be extremely proud. But I, I do have his words. In 1992, my mother interviewed him. In his own words, he, he replied to my mom, I'd always had a desire to own my own business. Whoever hesitated to attempt the unknown. However, in February of 1956, with Gertrude's blessing and consent, I resigned from my job at Union Wealth and started the Jessup Manufacturing Company. I was 48 years old. And I think that that was a lifetime dream of his, eventually to have a business of his own. He would sell anything. Uh, you know, if he couldn't sell it, he'd find someone to make it. If he could make it, he'd find someone to make it for him. Uh, he was a born salesman, basically. I think the single best lesson that Father probably taught me was really to work hard and play hard. That was one of his favorite phrases. Work hard and play hard. <laughs> That's been his words all of his life, actually. And he did it. So it all started with a Randall strap machine, the Model 32, in the unheated garage in McKenna, Illinois, cutting leather wall for baseball gloves. We were very fortunate to have children who grew up in the business and uh, have carried on. So we've had, this is a third generation now that is operating the business. I believe the core values like hard work, integrity, and family remain in our culture uh, over the course of the last 60 years. But if I were to look back at the beginning, I would uh, define our culture as one that is much more centralized or was much more centralized. Where today, we're a culture of empowerment. All of our employees are, are challenged to, to be creative, to reach, to take risk, and to constantly find better ways to do things here so that we can continue to delight our customers and grow our business. It really takes a team. I mean, you can buy machines, you can buy buildings, you can do all kinds of things, but really the, probably the biggest asset a company has is the employees and their desire to work together as a team and want the company to be successful and not only because they're jobs, because they want to come to work each and every day. It's hard to believe that we started in 1956 converting leather for baseball gloves, and, and today we're manufacturing safety products that save lives throughout the world. Over the course of 2016, we've added a lot of new converting capabilities. In addition to a brand new coating machine sitting right behind me, we've added laser die cutting, we've added new high-speed uh, grit slitting, and we have also recently installed uh, a new inline printer uh, into our coding operation. It used to be that uh, as a small company, we were just chasing every order, trying to figure out how to make payroll uh, every week. But as we've grown and brought new competencies into our, our team, we are now making conscious decisions about where we're gonna go as an organization, the products, the markets that we're gonna serve, and most specifically, how we're gonna continue to delight our customers and reward all of our employees. It's hard to picture what we will be making 60 years from now, but I can assure you of one thing. We will be leveraging our Soft Plus Make manufacturing platform to solve problems for our customers and provide them solutions, whether they're in this world or another galaxy. <laughs>